Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel is Making with Marilyn. Now I do all things crafty, but on today's video, I'm gonna use my X-Tool M1 diode laser to see if I can engrave on this metal dog tag. Now when I received my laser and I received the five watt one, it had a few samples in it. I'm really excited to see if it'll work on this. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. If you do, tap the bell, select the all notification. That way YouTube lets you know anytime I upload new content. Now on today's video, I'm going to engrave on a dog tag that I received when I got my X-Tool M1 5 watt laser. Now we don't have a dog, but my sister-in-law recently got a dog that needed to be rehomed and its name is Scooter. So we're gonna make this for Scooter. Now you can design this elsewhere and then bring it in, but it's such an easy design that I'm just gonna type it right into the creative space. So I go right here to text, click on it, and then it always defaults to this word, hello. So I'm gonna back up over that, and in all caps, I'm gonna type Scooter. All right, now I'm not loving that font. So let's click here and see what else I can use. That's pretty cute. All right, after looking at several of these, I went back to this Atma. I like that. I think it's cute. That'll be perfect. I have about one and a half inches of width on my dog tag. So I'm gonna take this down to one and a quarter. So right up here in the width, I'm gonna back over what it was and put 1.25. So I'll go ahead and blow this up so I can see it a lot better than what I could. All right, so here is Scooter. If I wanted to, I can make it taller. Now, because it's locked, when I make it taller, it also makes it wider. So let me go back and say undo. I'll click on this again. Now I can unlock it. And now I can drag it. And I like that just a little bit better. If my screen was wider, so if I drag this off, You'd see right there. It's currently about a third of an inch tall. I want to make that a little bit larger. Let's go with 0.4. I don't want it quite a half inch tall, but 0.4 would work. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and put my prism risers inside the M1. Then I'll lay the dog tag down on top of those. Then I'll turn the power on. Once I turn the power on, this page is going to change. You're actually going to see a picture of the bed of the M1. That helps us place this. And now you can see the bed of the M1. All right, let's move this picture up and drag Scooter down. And then I'm just gonna place it to where it looks pretty good. All right, so let's choose our settings. Right now it's on laser flat, that's what I want. It's just on the flat laser bed. Other options are your cylindrical, that's if you're using the rotary tool. Open plane, that's if you have the bottom of it out and you're setting it on something. And then these two are if you're using the actual cutting blade. So we'll stay with laser flat. And then for the material, I'm gonna use this silver stainless steel tag. I assume that's the right one. Let's try it. Now it refreshed the screen. So let me go ahead and move this back up a little bit. Notice when I actually click on scooter, I get some other settings. Now, do I want to score it where it just marks around the outside, or do I want to engrave it? And the whole inside is covered. Let's do engrave. Okay, let's see what this is. We're going to go with their settings. That is power of 100, speed of 30. I'm going to go ahead and do one pass. If I don't think it's good enough, or dark enough, or deep enough, I can leave it in there, don't touch it, and do it again. And then lines per centimeter. That is similar to resolution of a photo, like dots per inch. I'm gonna stay with 200. Bidirectional means it's engraving as it goes left, back right, left and right, not just when it's going in one direction. All right, I'm gonna click off of it. Now I want the X tool to do an auto measure. All 
Okay, now I realize I actually do have it raised. I have those prisms in there. So, and I know I need to move that, but let's go ahead and measure again. All right, it said it succeeded. So hopefully this is the last time I move it up, but you never know. All right, so it's a laser flat, silver stainless steel. I use the auto measure. I let it know I have those prisms in there. Let's click on this, look at the other screen. I'm going to engrave, and I'm going to engrave with a power of 100, a speed of 30, one pass, and 200 lines per centimeter. Now, if you want to, you can frame it to make sure it's in the right place. What I have found is sometimes when I frame things, that is putting just a tiny little bit of the laser light out, and you can actually accidentally mark where it's framing. So I'm not gonna frame it. If I wanted to frame it, what I would do is I would change this so that it's not going to come down as far. I would frame it, and then I'd change it back before I actually use the engrave function. We're gonna go with it just like this though. All right, see how it's a little bit crooked? Let me see if I can fix that. All right, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and say start. We'll see how long it thinks it'll take. It's estimating one minute. If that's acceptable to me, I'll click start again. All right, so now I need to push the button on the front of the machine and then it's gonna start its job. Now notice as it's processing, you can see how much of the job is complete. And what I've noticed is the time estimation isn't super accurate, but I can see when it's 25% done, when it's 50% done, and so on and so forth. So I can kind of watch this to get a better idea of how long it's going to take. Now I can see the engrave. I want to see what happens if you process it again. Now here's my final product, and that turned out cute. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not sure that the second pass really added much. Probably a little bit. I centered it decently well. I think the camera does a super job of helping you figure out where to put it. But it could probably be just a little bit better centered. That's my fault. I'm happy with the engrave. Now, it's called engraving, but on metal, it's more of a marking. This isn't a deep engrave like you can get on wood. So all in all, I'm pleased with this and I'm ready for a new project. So I think the next project I'll do is some type of wall hanging, something that I can work with cutting out wood. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in following this type of project or many other types of crafty projects, Make sure you subscribe. If you do, tap the bell and then select the all notifications. That way YouTube lets you know anytime I upload new content. So thanks so much for joining me today and until my next video, bye bye.